Your quest already offers you a pretty large library of apps and games that you can choose from, but what if you want something more? What if you don't necessarily want the apps that Meta forces you to download? What if you want something like Discord, Spotify, or YouTube directly? Well, actually, no, YouTube VR exists. Vimeo on your quest. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. I'm Mystical, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a ton of different unofficial apps directly there on your quest. I know we've got a few videos like this before. However, they're scattered around the channel, and they're all separated into bits and pieces. None of those are actually thrown into one single video. So that's exactly what we're doing today. Let's jump right in. So first things first, to get any of this done, you will first need developer mode enabled on your quest. First, you will need to confirm your details. And once you've done that, you enable developer mode in the app select devices, select a device, go to headset settings, and then go to developer mode and turn that on. Once you've got developer mode on, you're ready to go from here. Now, to continue with this project, you will need an Android phone or a computer once and only once as for step one, we're going to be installing some sort of file manager onto the quest. This will make the process of continuing this just a ton easier and will make it so that you never need an Android phone or a computer again to install anything onto your quest, which is fantastic. So to do this, we are once again going to be using something called Amaze File Manager. Now, Amaze is free and open source, which is exactly why we're going to be going with it. And also, I really like its material UI design. So to get Amaze, all you do is you follow the GitHub link down in the description below. That will lead you to the releases page where you can download the latest APK for Amaze. You can also get Amaze on something like the Google Play Store, create an APK backup of it and then transfer it to the Quest, but I just find downloading the APK directly is just a lot easier. Now, what you will require on your PC is SideQuest. If you don't have SideQuest yet, links are down below, but all you do is you install that like you would any other Windows application. Then once you've got the Amaze APK downloaded, all you do is you plug your quest into your computer, make sure to accept any prompts that might appear in your side your quest. They might appear if this is your first time plugging the quest into the computer with developer mode enabled. Essentially, it's a USB debugging prompt that you just have to accept. And once you've done that, your quest should appear in the top left of SideQuest. Once it appears up there, you know you're ready to go. Now to install a maze through SideQuest, all you do is you press on this button right up here, install APK file from computer, find the Amaze APK that you downloaded earlier, double click on it, and that will sideload the app to your headset. You should see a little prompt show up telling you that it's installing the app onto your quest. Once this finishes, you can unplug your quest and you've got the file manager on your headset. Now let's move on to how you would do this with an Android phone in case you don't have a computer on hand. For this, we will be using an app called Bug Jaeger. You will also require a Type-C to Type-C cable, or if your phone doesn't have a Type-C port, you will require an OTG adapter. Once you've got one of those two and Bug Jaeger installed, plug your quest into your phone. Accept any prompts that might appear inside your quest. These will appear if this is the first time you have plugged your quest into your phone with developer mode enabled. Your phone will help you through the process anyway. Once you've accepted all these prompts, your quest should appear in the top left of Bug Jaeger. Then proceed to the packages page by clicking on this button right up here, and then press on this plus button up in the top right corner. This should allow you to find the APK file that you downloaded earlier, and click on that. Once you've selected it, it should install onto your headset. Bug Jaeger will tell you when the install is done. Unplug your quest from your phone, and now we move into the headset itself. See, this little modification, if you want to call it so, is fantastic. In fact, I called it the best mod you can do to your Quest, and I stick by that. From now on, you will not require a computer or a phone in order to install an application on your Quest. It just makes things a lot, lot easier, and a lot better for those that might not have one of those on hand at all times. So, now let's move on to installing the actual unofficial apps onto the Quest itself. Dependent on what app you need, you might need to source it from a different website. I like to use APK Mirror or APK Pure, so go onto any one of those sites and search for an app that you might want to install on your Quest. For me, that's going to be Spotify, Discord, Reddit, Twitter, every single app in existence ever. Search up those apps on one of those websites and find the APK that you want. Remember to download the latest APK. So let me show you Discord as an example as this will allow us to jump into calls inside our headset. So searching up for Discord, you can see here I select the latest release and then go into downloading the APK. Once the APK is downloaded onto my headset, I will jump into Amaze File Manager. To find Amaze File Manager inside your quest, it's really, really easy. All you do is you go up to the top right here and click on Unknown Sources. This is actually where all the apps you install through this unofficial method will show up. So if you install Discord, Spotify, Questcraft, or whatever you install in the future, this is where 
where they will all be. So from here, launch a maze, then head over to the hamburger menu on the left and jump into downloads. Once I'm in downloads, you can see all the APKs I've downloaded are right here. All you do from here is it's really, really easy. You just click on one of them and a little prompt will show up asking you whether you want to install the app. Now, the very first time you try to install an app through a maze, you'll get this little prompt. All you have to do is just click on settings and allow a maze to install unknown sources apps. Then once you've done that, you can click back and try install the app again. This time it should let you through. It's literally that easy. Once you've got the APKs downloaded and a maze file manager installed, there's not much more to actually installing these apps. So install all the apps you like through a maze file manager. And I'm gonna go on to showing you one more little really cool trick that I recommend basically everyone gets done once they can install unofficial apps. Get yourself Activity Launcher. Now, this might mean nothing to a ton of you. And to those of you that know what it is, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Activity Launcher will allow you to launch hidden activities inside your quest. The most important one of these, the Android settings, which do actually exist on the quest since it is an Android headset. You can get Activity Launcher by searching up for the APK on one of the sites mentioned earlier, like APK Pure or APK Mirror. Then once you've got the APK, head over to Amaze File Manager and install it like you would all the other apps. Once you've got Activity Launcher, you can turn it on and you can search for any activity that you might want to launch. You might find some interesting things in here and don't fiddle around with anything that you shouldn't be fiddling around with. However, if you click in the top right, search up settings, you will notice that the Android settings activity shows up. And through here, you can launch the original Android settings app. And you may be asking yourself, why on earth would you want to do this? Well, when installing unofficial apps, some apps might require permissions that the Quest doesn't know how to grant. You can grant these permissions through the Android Settings app, as well as making sure the app is fully installed or uninstalled, dependent on what you want. Inside the Android Settings app, you've also got a bunch of different really interesting settings that you can play around with. Unfortunately, no developer options though. But that's that. Here you go guys, we finally have a video showcasing everything all in one. How to download a maze file manager, how to install unofficial apps, and then activity launcher, which I think is a must have for anyone that has a quest and is installing unofficial apps, as it allows you to launch the settings and a bunch of different activities without having to go through a PC or a phone. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too. I hope you guys have a fantastic St. Patrick's Day, wherever you are. I've heard over in America, they actually celebrated quite a bit. I'm in Ireland myself, so hopefully I still make it to see some of the festivities. But yeah, if you guys are not yet part of the community, check out the Discord down below, check out the Reddit. I wanna see you posting your spicy memes on there, as well as that's where I keep you guys up to date. And thank you so much to the lovely names going off on my right. Those guys are my Patreons, and thank you so, so much for all your support right now. You guys are helping me out a ton. And as usual, if you wanna be notified of future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace. <laughs>